Hi guys, Anthony at Auto Style here. Uh, this is going to be hopefully the first of a series of little videos to update you guys with some of the projects that are going on in the shop. We've been trying to push our social media presence a little bit more recently, which hopefully you've noticed. Uh, and this hopefully will catapult that forward a bit more and show you a bit more what's going on behind the scenes, show you where we're at with some of the bigger projects that have been in the shop a while and also show you where they're heading. Uh, we'll start with this one today. Uh, this is a 72 bay window, uh, not much remaining of bay window as you'll see as we go into the details of the project. The reason I'm starting with this one is we've kind of hit a bit of a pivotal moment with this one where all the engineering side of things is now complete. So it's all been together, uh, the cage has all been fitted and we've now taken that all out and the inside is now going to get prepped and painted so that we can get all that stuff back in, including the engine. Uh, the engine in this is an S62 V8, which is a BMW M5 engine found in the E39 5 series. Uh, should be about 400 horse-ish from what I understand. Engine's been fully rebuilt uh, and detailed, so we'll put some pictures of that up alongside me waffling on about the project. Other things we've done on this vehicle, well, let's go back to the beginning actually. This came to us with a six cylinder in the middle. Some of you guys may have seen this back in the, in the early days. Um, it used to run a six cylinder and it was built by a chap who lived near Santa Pod, I believe. Um, he's done a couple of other projects as far as I'm aware. This was his first one or his first big build like that. It was pretty good for the time, but it had aged, it needed updating and it needed quite a lot of rust repair. So the owner brought it to us uh, straight away we pulled out the six cylinder and it's had numerous V8s dropped in the hole and then change of spec and luckily we've ended up with the right one, the uh, S62 M5 motor. We've done a whole load of chassis work on this, we've done a lot of suspension work on this. We've now got a custom built multi-link rear suspension set up so that we can dial it all in and hopefully get a decent amount of anti-squat because uh, one of my concerns being that this vehicle is bagged as well, running on airlift suspension um, with height sensors, cantilever setup, show you that as well, uh, was that on launch you probably get a lot of bogging down on the back when it squats. Um, so hopefully we've got the geometry in there and the adjustment in there to dial that out. Uh, otherwise, it's got a full cage all the way through. It's got four bucket seats, aluminium bucket seats that we make here in house. Um, it's, yeah, it's had an awful lot of work, I'm struggling to even think back. Recently we fitted all these tabs and made templates for uh, plastic windows, Lexan, polycarbonate, whatever you want to call it, race windows. Um, they're being made by ACW Motorsport Plastics, uh, so we're looking forward to getting those back. Uh, the cantilever in the back is a nice little touch, moves the air suspension into the vehicle, so while you're driving you'll be able to see all that going on. The cage that is now out of the vehicle also becomes the dash. So we'll put again some pictures up and show you a bit more detail on that. Running stack gauges in the dash. Uh, it's all mounted off the cage so there's no excess dash there, no padded dash, none of that to get in the way and clutter things up. So it's quite a nice simple looking build. Uh, with the engine in the middle we've got some air intakes going in the side panel on the other side and we're making those up from uh, laser cut aluminium profiles. Um, so that's one of the next jobs to do. But as it sits at the minute, we're basically now pushing towards paint, get the cage all blasted and painted, and then we can start bolting back sit, bits back in. So hopefully we're gonna end up with um, a nice bit of uh, meaty content for you on this one soon, because once everything's painted, things will start snowballing and we can get everything back in. And all the uh, hard work, all the little details, We'll start paying off as you see it all come together. So yeah, check back on the videos. We'll do a few more updates on some of the other projects. We've got a cool bag split screen project that you may have seen over uh, on our Instagram and Facebook and stuff. We'll update you on all of that and a few other projects in the shop as well that we'll get updates on. So catch you on the next video. Cheers guys.